Our Ricky Sayer reports from the Butler Farm showgrounds after speaking with supporters today who saw it as their duty to come out. The Secret Service tells us 24,000 people attended former President Trump's rally today in Butler. They filed out over the past few hours. Many were in good spirits, many of them breathing a sigh of relief. And it stands in stark contrast to what they were feeling leaving this same farm showgrounds just three months ago. As I was saying... Former President Trump finished what he started in July, leaving the stage unharmed. I can't even have words to speak. I was so happy. Deborah Kammer told us she was afraid to return after being so close to the stage for the first rally. Because I was so frightened back in July. But here I am, and it turned out great. She was here with Warren Goodrich. Everything was so nice. It was a really very, very emotional, almost spiritual because of remembering Corey. And yeah. it was a beautiful, really beautiful event, very positive. While July shooting drove some to stay home, others jumped with the chance to be here. I drove up from Alabama, 12 hour drive, and uh, just amazing. This was Kevin B. Daly's first Trump rally. I think it was a very powerful thing for him to come back here to show the people that he's fighting for them and fighting for the people that um, did get shot and, and the one that did lose his life. Trump supporters packed onto the property on this warm Saturday, in some cases rushing to get a spot close to the stage. It's a lot more people, and it was a lot last time. All hearing from Lee Greenwood. I love this land. An opera singer. and a number of local and national speakers leading up to President Trump taking the stage. It just shows that, you know, we could all pull together and be brave and be courageous. Just like she says Trump was. And Cameron told us that she was thanking every member of law enforcement that she could for keeping them safe. Live in Butler, Ricky Sayer, KDK TV News.